Hello one, and welcome back to part 66 of Build HMS Victory. Okay, so I know it's been a uh, quite a while since I uh, did a HMS Victory last time. And one of the main reasons is obviously I've got to a certain stage where I'd finished all the uh, the hull and obviously all the copper in the hull and I'd obviously finished the rudder and I needed a, a slight break. I'd been building the uh, Victory for around about 18 months quite solid so and I was at a good stage as well whereas pretty much the next stage was where I'm going to start working on the uh, on this beakhead section and I probably I'd only started working it in, a, in some previous videos but I was never quite happy with the result so I started to look around for some of these uh, 3D printer companies yes yeah, so I started taking a bit of interest in uh, 3D printed parts because I've seen some uh, websites now and I've seen some amazing work that they do with these uh, these 3D printed parts so I kind of I'd find a company that sell these uh, these beakhead set in the obviously the roundhouse set and it was uh, I was going to order it but it, it was coming in around about £50 so it kind of like, uh, I thought, well, uh, at some point I'll kind of, once I've got some uh, some extra money, I'll order that. And in between that, I've been obviously a friend with a, a, a guy from a mod, from Asian Fiction Modeling Group, and he's been designing some of these uh, these uh, 3D uh, printed parts. Yeah, so I met up with Neil uh, about three weeks ago, and he, he visited, before, obviously, while we're still obviously out of the uh, lockdown restrictions. And he brought all these, these little demo parts he's been working on. I was absolutely blown away with the uh, the quality of this uh, this beakhead and, and roundhouse kit that is obviously supplying and manufactured. And as we were talking, and he kind of told me just how much he was going to uh, sell these kits, but I, I couldn't believe it. He's selling this section this for ten pound, plus he's willing to uh, ship worldwide. So I think that's absolutely uh, absolutely amazing to you know, I mean to get a part of this quality for ten pound plus shipping. I think it's absolutely. Uh, well, I'm just blown away, and I think it's going to make so much more improvements to the overall look of the HMS Victory. And he's also working on quite a rubber, uh, quite a lot of rubber modifications as well. He, he sent me some more, and, but I'll be featuring them in a in a later video. Okay, so I'm going to bring the Victory back across. Okay, yeah. Because we're always follow, following the instructions, we had to make these these round houses to fit the uh, the parts that were coming in the kit last time. But you can see now it's massively out of scale to these uh, these parts that kind of they got supplied, and these are obviously these are accurate, and this this is uh, massively out of scale. But I can still use this, and all I'm going to do is just going to cut this down to size just to fit to fit this one. And I've already done it with the uh, with the port side one, and once you kind of cut that to size, that's going to fit really nice. Okay, so all I'm going to do to start with, I'm just going to. I just put these over this part. So I'm just line these up. I'm just going to make a mark. Just so I'm getting a bit of an idea. Just how much I need to just take off to start with. And obviously, as I need to take more off, I'll just refine it. So it's going to take me a scalpel knife. It's quite a little bit of material to take off, but I think we should be okay. Just getting these fingers out of the way. And I'm just going to start to just slightly just cut down, cut down this line. Like I say, I'd never recommend normally kind of shaving towards your finger. Well, I'm quite experienced at this, so I kind of know what I'm doing. And just how much feel you need to use with a blade just to kind of stop it. And like I say, all you do is just keep putting these parts on Keep offering it up and kind of once you're happy they should uh, fit nice and flush okay so I'll just carry on shaping this and sanding this for the next five minutes and we'll come back okay so after five minutes of uh, just shaping and sanding this old section that we built before now fits this new part they actually fit really nice a nice flush fit 
Okay, so one of the first things I want to do before we carry on, I just want to take my pelling pencil and I'm just going to draw or trace, you say, just trace around the outline of this uh, this part just so I can put it back kind of in the same place. And also, just so I'm going to get a bit of an idea of where the center is. And we kind of wanted, I'll see on the front of this roundhouse, we've got like a little porthole. So I kind of been looking at my pictures and it's kind of sat right, right in the middle. So I just want to kind of, I don't know what you can't see on here, but so where these, uh, where I made these planks up, I've got like a seam line that runs right down the middle. So I know that's a center. So I'm just going to work out for height. I'm just going to take my drill. I've got a, I think I've got a three mil drill bit in there. And I'm just going to just kind of center it up. And all I'm going to do is just turn it a few times. Bang it off. Just slightly sand it. And then just, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it and slightly open up the port hole a little bit more. <coughs> okay, so now I've got a little port hole in the front of the roundhouse. Okay, so I'm going to bring these parts back together. I'm just going to slip them over each other. Like I say, the parts come supplied over long. And that's because obviously every, every model is slightly different. I mean, we, even though we kind of follow instructions, there's always going to be a slight tolerance of different models, even though they're working at 184 scale. So they always come with a little bit more meat on this leg. So all I'm going to do now is kind of get that flush with the top. I'm just going to turn it upside down. And I'm just going to take a pellet pencil again. And I'm just going to draw a little mark just to indicate where I'm uh, going to cut it off. I'm going to leave this one slightly longer because we have some more more parts to add to this section. Just taking my uh, craft knife again, that's where I can see my lines. And just, just slightly cut across them. It's as simple as that. Okay, so now I'll put these two parts together and they should line up just like that. Okay, so I'm going to bring Victory back into shop. Okay, so now it's time to uh, kind of make a fit this, this roundhouse into its final position. So I'm going to take the part back off for a second. I'm just going to kind of rest that on there. And when we've got this, this molding, we need this edge just nice and flush up this molding. And it's going to sit like that. Okay, so I'm just going to be using this Gorilla Glue. I do mean there's other glues out there, but this is the one that I uh, use all the time. And I think it dries actually harder than the wood itself. So I'm just going to put a little bit onto the back of the roundhouse. Bring this back to the part. Kind of make sure that's flush. I'll stick that on there to dry. If you notice, I kind of filled this section in because I've reduced the width of these roundhouses, around about two mil to fit this new part. I've actually just filled in a little filler piece just down the section where we've put all this air uh, beaker in. <coughs> okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to get this, this larger ruler. I'm just going to sit it across the tops and just hold that in place a second. I'm just going to take my uh, my other ruler. Okay, so I'm going to do this so you can all see at home. I'm going to put these across, and I'm going to get the uh, the height. That's 24 mil. Yeah, that's 24 mil. So I'm pretty much happy with that. Okay, so I'm going to push the picture back out of the way, and I'm going to bring this. Uh, this full section of this uh, beak head back across. I'm going to turn it over. It's kind of, I'm going to have a feel there's any kind of injection. Well, it's not really injection, but it's obviously how, the, uh, how these parts are made. They're kind of made on support, so they sometimes even when they're snapped off, they leave uh, a little trace of plastic behind, but these feel really, really nice. So I'm just going to take my, uh, my ruler. 
I'll take my pencil and I'm gonna bring it right on because I want it right on this top edge, this top edge of this trim. So I'm gonna bring it there and I'm just gonna measure it down 20, 24 mil. So I've got a bit of mark across. It's gonna it's gonna do the same on the other side, just down to 24 mil. Until marked, I'm just going to bring that across there like that. So I've got so that's nice and flush with a nice straight edge. And then I'm going to put my ruler on, line up the two pencil marks, making sure that this this is nice and flush. And then I'm just going to go across them all and just call them off. Bing. I shouldn't really wear the uh, glasses for this section, but it is what it is. Okay, so I've kind of cut all these down to uh, to 25, uh, 24 mil. Sorry. So if you're thinking, oh, that actually looks a little bit short. Well, it's not because if you look at the picture, the real victory. Once you get this this top of this molding. It's only actually around about what it probably looks like about an eight-inch skirting board above this, so it's absolutely uh, about right, perfect to scale. Okay, so I'm going to bring Victory back across. I'm going to just remove that one a second, make sure in this shot. So now, when I kind of put this back in here, it's obviously over long because it needs just adjusting to width. But that is pretty much but right. So what I want to do now is I want to get the center. So we've got seven arches, so I want the, the middle arch, which is obviously our so we want arch number one that we've got three either side. We're running pretty much parallel with the bowsprit. And then once we're happy with that, we can kind of just uh, mark this either side let's try and make sure you can see let's mark it either side because like I said they all obviously all come over over long so we can kind of cut them to and then the same again I'm just going to bring it across try and cut straight that's one simple press down with the blade and hopefully that should fit lovely in between them two round houses and it does and if there's any height like ones where it might need a slightly bit of adjustment you can kind of go see we've got a little bit of twist in this planking and that's what sits around there and like i say i've spot before but i've got to say i'm just so impressed with these parts to what how it would have looked if I'd have gone down the route using the parts in the kit. It's just a massive difference. Okay, so now I'm gonna just bring across this this other roundhouse and I'm gonna overlap it. And if you like I say if you look on the picture of victory, which I'll uh, and you can see right in that corner, just there, can you see that? They kind of marry up and they kind of join each other on this corner. So like I say, all we need to do is probably just take about a mil off of this this far end so i'm just going to lay it making sure i cut the right obviously right side which is the one facing away from me taking about one mil off it's a nice straight cut press down bring you back up and then i'm just going to bring him across like I say, might need a little bit more, might need slightly a bit, a bit more taken off. So you can always say uh, take a bit more off, you can't always add some more. It just needs a little touch more. In fact, I'm just going to take a little bit of touch more off this one. Because I want to kind of leave that where these this little V part touches. If I cut any more off that, I'm going to make that come loose. So I'd rather take it off the, uh, the front of the beak heads. Okay, so after you've kind of fitted these parts and cut more to length, 
it's pretty much it's slightly got a little bit more adjustment i think one of these is just keeping it all i think it's that one there just keeping it slightly a bit proud Okay, so pretty much when you get to this stage, you should be looking at that. It's got the, the same to do on the uh, on the starboard side roundhouse, but obviously it's not quite dried yet, so I'll leave that a second. But pretty much all we've got to do now is take these off, give them a coat of primer, and give them a coat of top coat. So what I'm going to do now, We'll try not to smack the victory to bits.